Elon Musk may be taking the spotlight for his space ambitions, which is understandably not justified when you dare permanently put people on another planet and construct the most powerful reusable rocket. Revolutions makes will undoubtedly draw attention. You may not be aware of it, but Elon Musk is leading a second revolution that will fundamentally change the direction of civilization. Tesla has been working on a near-quantum supercomputer, now the most powerful computer. What is the supercomputer and how does it impact you personally? Have you ever questioned whether Tesla is an automobile manufacturer or an IT company? Tesla creates sexy, quick, battery-powered vehicles. It is not unexpected that most of the world knows Tesla is a producer of battery-powered automobiles because it is even a leader in EV batteries. The government-controlled firm, however, is much more than that. When Tesla is involved, the distinction between a company that manufactures cars and one built on computers becomes less clear. For example, it is not without reason that Tesla has a market capitalization in the league of IT companies. The market cap is over $1 trillion. Tesla rolls with the big boys like Microsoft, Apple, Google, Facebook, and Amazon, which are far removed from companies in its primary industry. Toyota, the second most capitalized automaker, has about a quarter of Tesla's worth. Volkswagen, the third, comes in even lower at about one-eighth. Not surprisingly, Tesla has championed over-the-air updates to improve its cars by adding features or clearing bugs. Just like Microsoft updates your personal computer, Apple releases an update for your iPhone. Speaking of software, Tesla is a leader in auto software. Tesla has previously unlocked more battery capacity over the air, although only some people like the idea. Over the years, Tesla has refined its user interface so much that drivers use it without thinking about it. The Tesla in it has games for you to play on your center console and Netflix for the times you want to chill inside your car. While that might be controversial, sometimes it shows how seriously Tesla takes software and that's not a talk of hidden easter eggs that make the ownership experience much more exciting. Musk stated that the Model S is a sophisticated computer on wheels rather than a car. Here is how Musk described Tesla. Tesla is a software company as much as it is a hardware company. A huge part of what Tesla is is a Silicon Valley software company. We view this the same as updating your phone or your laptop. That was back in 2015. Since then, Tesla has improved in hardware and software, but the company is still focused on the software. Most recently, Tesla's AI head, Andrzej Karpathy, described Tesla's car like this. We are effectively building a synthetic animal from the ground up. The car can be thought of as an animal. It moves around autonomously, senses the environment, and acts autonomously. One aspect driving Tesla's innovation in computing is its self-driving technology. Many Tesla owners swear by their car's self-driving capabilities, which are amazing. A Tesla car that drives itself or works autonomously requires large amounts of computing power. However, using existing computer technologies is providing Tesla with subpar results. As usual, he builds it when Musk can't get what he wants. That is why Tesla unveiled a near-quantum supercomputer it built in-house. The near-quantum computer is a supercomputer. It is very complex and powerful. Tesla required a computer platform to take its self-driving technology to the next level. Still, since Musk could not shop for what he needed, he made the near-quantum computer powered by the Dojo D1 chip, which provides stunning bandwidth and computer performance. This will train Tesla's massive neural networks. Still, the company has hinted that it might provide its near-quantum computing to other companies developing AI in the future, bringing the benefits of Dojo to more of humanity. Tesla is building its near-quantum supercomputer to handle the massive amount of video data captured from their large fleet of existing vehicles, which is used to train its neural networks. Tesla wanted more HPC or high-performance computing options for training its computer vision neural net and decided it could create a better platform. Tesla's supercomputer has been designed for just one problem, which is not unusual. However, due to its general-purpose design, it will be suitable for other industries and applications like deep learning optimization simulation and NLP. Tesla is not the first to build a supercomputer because many exist worldwide. For example, 
The Fugaku in Japan is capable of 442 petaflops of computing power. There are also the Sun Isura, Pearl Mutter, and Selene, and all in the US. Other countries with top supercomputers are China with its Sunway, Tai Hu Light, and Germany with the Joules. You might have noticed a Tesla supercomputer capable of about 68.75 petaflops, which is lower than some of other supercomputers mentioned here. However, what is interesting about the supercomputer is that for what it is built for. This is the only supercomputer that can come close to matching its performance. Supercomputers are already being used to accelerate medical research and drug development because they can quickly process massive amounts of data. In fact, researchers have relied on supercomputers to power COVID-19 research since the pandemic began in early 2020. But other industries are also leveraging the extra processing speed of supercomputers, which are being used for oil and gas exploration, space exploration, climate modeling, finance modeling, 3D modeling, weather forecasting, consumer product design, and digital security, where they are used for brute force code breaking and nuclear test simulations. The D1 chip part of Tesla's new quantum supercomputer system uses a 7 nanometer manufacturing process with 362 teraflops of processing power. The D1 chip boasts 50 billion transistors for processors. It beats the current record held by AMD's Epic Rome chip, which is 39.54 billion transistors. The fact that a 7 nanometer process has been used to fabricate the chip tells us that Tesla used either Samsung or TSMC to make it happen. However, it is more likely that Samsung built it since it was also Samsung that fabricated Tesla's HW3 chip. Tesla places 25 of these chips onto a single training file, and 120 of these tiles come together across several server cabinets, amounting to over an extra power flop. Tesla's supercomputer is powerful because Musk believes squeezing more performance out of the computer system used to train the company's neural network will be key to progress and autonomous driving. Near quantum computing will make everything faster. Musk illustrates this change. If it takes a couple of days for a model to train versus a couple of hours, it's a big deal. Some car companies use neural networks to identify objects on the road. Still, Tesla relies more heavily on technology, with a single giant neural network known as a transformer that receives input from eight cameras simultaneously. In recent years, transformer models have provided big advances in language understanding. The gains have come from making the models larger and more data-hungry. Training the largest AI programs requires several million dollars of cloud computing power. Musk is betting on the new supercomputer to establish its lead over self-driving competitors like General Motors Cruise and Google's Waymo. The supercomputer will help Tesla speed up the training of its AI program immensely. So exactly why does Tesla need a supercomputer this powerful? Well, unlike many self-driving car companies, Tesla does not use LiDAR, a more expensive kind of sensor that can see the world in 3D. Instead, it relies on interpreting scenes using a neural network algorithm to pass input from its cameras and radar. This is more computationally demanding because the algorithm has to reconstruct a map of its surroundings from the camera feeds rather than relying on sensors that can capture that picture directly. Also, Tesla collects more training data than any other automaker. To illustrate this point, each of the over 1 million Tesla vehicles currently in operation serves as data input and transmits to the business the video feeds from its eight cameras. To support the massive transformer, the EV company employs 1,000 workers to classify those photographs, noting vehicles such as cars, trucks, traffic signs, lane markings, etc. It will take Tesla a long time to process all of this data. Tesla intends to market this innovation. According to Musk, Tesla intends to make the supercomputer available to the public as a web service to train machine learning models. Who confirmed this in a sequence of tweets that began with a reply to renowned software engineer John Carmack? It isn't easy to think that Tesla, which primarily produces automobiles, can compete with the Intels of the world to provide supercomputer services. You underestimate Musk at your own cost, as most people have learned. That is our video for today. We hope you all like it. Share all of your thoughts with us in the comment section below. Well, that's all for now. This is Big Tech Media. See you again tomorrow. Keep in mind to like, share, and subscribe.